Okay, Lucky's adventure started out seeing some antelope run up the hill. You can hear how excited he was. So then we continued on up and in this video you'll see uh, an old graveyard from the 1880s at least and along the way some really cool a really cool old building built out of rock and gave me a lot of ideas of some other videos that'll be fun now that we're back in Montana so I hope you enjoy this so we're just heading up some back roads in the Rocky Mountains and it's a beautiful spring day. And then just out in the middle of nowhere, there's a ghost horse. Look at her. How pretty. Didn't really expect to see a horse right there. And you can see the willows along the edges are starting to get their color as things unthaw. And it's just really a nice time to be out. Fortunately, the roads weren't very muddy. So this time of year, it could be pretty nasty, but things are already pretty well dried up. I guess that's not so good from one perspective, but at least um, it was easy to get around. So we were actually driving up this road for about an hour or so to get to our destination. So we're heading up into some mining country and along the sides of some of the hillsides you'll see where they have uh, done some prospecting and this was a, a big mining area back uh, before the turn of the century and there's a remnant of an old um, mining cabin and up where we were I actually did find a lot of really cool rock structures which I'll do another video of because I think they're really interesting <laughs> and um, then there was a lot of um, trash which is kind of fun to examine okay so see those uh, spots those scars on the hill that's where they've done some prospecting to check out if it's going to be worthwhile to either establish a claim or maybe somebody did establish a claim and they're working it or checking it out not a lot of activity really going on however there are some fresh claims So is that an old mill? Yeah. It was okay. A, where they milled the ore out of the mine about there. Okay, so coming up is this old rock uh, shack or house. So I think the construction is amazing on these old cabins. This was probably built in like about 18. 60s, 1870s. Look at that. The original framing is still in there. Pretty basic. See if we can go in, figure out how their entrance was. Oh, looks like somebody must have had a fire in there and then the original window frames got built up, got burnt out. Oh, this is the door frame right here. Let's go in there. A 
have to be careful of nails and stuff. Hmm. Oh, and then in here's a little smaller room. Must have been their cellar, their root cellar. So this this room here is only about five by six. Look at how thick the walls are. About 20 inches thick. This is all stone. You can see there's the rocks right behind it. Yeah, pretty amazing. These people labored really hard, lived in some pretty rough country too. I'll show you around the country a little bit. Whenever you see things like that, I'll see if I can zoom in. There's an old place up on the hill where they were doing some mining. Let's see, where is it? There. Where that's dug out, you can see the difference in the hillside. A lot of those spots around here. Still seeing mining claims today too. New ones. We just saw some new ones today. Okay, so now I'm just gonna walk up the road a little bit and see what's up ahead. There's an old stream bed down there. Gosh, it's a beautiful day to be out. Okay, now up on the hill there is an old cemetery, and I think I'll head up that way, and there's Lucky. Want to come with me, Lucky? He's just waiting patiently. So, amidst the runes, like here, this looks like there was another foundation of a structure, not much left to this here. But you can see the cornerstone. What I'm interested in is way up there, on the hill, looks like an old cemetery, so I'm going to head up that way. Okay, well, there's my destination up there, but I'm getting a little distracted. All right, so I'll try to make a, a beeline up there and let you see what it looks like walking along through this huge old 
sage. And believe me, it smells really good. Talk about cleansing, huh? You know, the Indians would make smudges out of sage and then use an eagle feather and they would do that. Uh, light the sage and then use that to cleanse their place. Oh, look here. There's another um, foundation right there. And more stuff along the ground. See how easy it is to get distracted when you get out and walk? Yeah, too bad we can't capture the smells in the video. It smells really good. So there's an old mining area. I'm trying not to really reveal where I'm at. Some people obviously will know where I'm at. But it's so cool now because there's usually never anybody who goes up here. All right, so I gotta get up to the top of this hill. Whew, I'm getting hot. Okay, I reached the cemetery, <laughs> a little out of breath. I'll walk around it. All right, should I find the opening, which is over there? So this is the cemetery we saw from way down there. And then we'll just take a walk around. Okay, so gold was discovered here in 1863. And there were 2,000 people that lived way up here in the middle of nowhere. And in some future videos, I'm going to show some of the remnants of their places where they lived. Okay, so here we are up at this cemetery from way back in the late 1800s, maybe earlier than that. They have it pretty well protected from the cattle. There's actually quite a lot of room yet here in the cemetery. Let's go check out some of the markers. Unknown. These are all the unknowns. Let's see what this is. More unknown. 
Huh. Quite a lot of unknowns. Okay. So he died. 1907. More unknowns. Lots of unknowns. Hmm. Father. Peter White, 1886, uh, 63 years old. That's a pretty long life for back then. So, Montana does have a site where you can actually go and look up who's buried in these different graveyards. I forget what it's called, but I'll see if I can find a link and put that in the description. There's a view. Huh. Another child. Children didn't live very long up here. More children, three of them. Younger person, 17 years. Here you have an 1880s, 1860s to 1880s cemetery here in southwest Montana. So here's a up close of that one area where they did some mining. Obviously they must not have found enough. Then at the base of these rocks too. They also worked it probably a little more recently. Okay, it's always always fun to get out in southwest Montana and check things out. So that was my little hike up to this cemetery. There's a lot of them in Montana like this, which I think are pretty interesting. If you think they're interesting too and you would like me to do more of them, let me know in the comments. And I actually have some other ones. So check the playlist called Cemeteries if you're interested. Okay, so now we're going to head back a couple hours drive out of here. 
the rabbits even enjoying the sunshine. But there you can see Ruby uh, Mountain, Tobacco Root Mountains. Way off in the distance, you can actually see the uh, Madison Range way back there. It's really a nice clear day. Yep, you can actually see forever here in Montana. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you like it, just let us know, and we'll be doing more.